The saying that all life originated from the sea holds true for the Kalk Alpen and the National Park. Over 200 million years ago, these mountains were a reef in a tropical ancient sea. The coral provided the core element, calcium. Over millions of years, the ancient world crumpled under the Earth's powerful natural forces and new continents emerged that drifted across the seas, forming mountains that reached high into the skies. Geologically, it was the equivalent of yesterday, and the glaciers of the last ice age added the finishing touches. When the glaciers retreated, they left behind stone monuments whose cliffs rise from the forests and are known today as the Kalkalpen. Its appearance is dominated by two fundamental elements, rock and water. The Feichtauer Lakes at an altitude of 1,400 meters lie in the shadows of the Sensengebirge. Here, the Nock is the highest mountain, rising to nearly 2,000 meters. A distinctive feature of the Sensengebirge is its steep upper northern cliff face, whereas the Reichramminger Hintergebirge, the shaded steep cliff walls, dripping wet rocks, enchanting gorges. A landscape from out of a fairy tale. As an eagle glides westwards over the national park, it scans the pale cliffs of the mountain range Totusgebirge. Rugged karst terrain, sparse vegetation, and merciless storms. These plateaus of the Sensengebirge are surrounded by peaks and ridges that appear inhospitable, even hostile. Yet here lies a hidden paradise, at least for the specialized. The champion of rock climbers, the chamois, is one of the many species thriving within the national park. They inhabit the steep areas above the tree line, where hunting is banned year long. Only the wall creepers can outperform the chamois as they climb, hop, glide, as well as breed on the steep rock walls. Steeper, higher areas, inaccessible to the wall creeper and chamois, are dominated by the majestic rulers of the skies. The Golden Eagle. It has been befittingly honored on the National Park logo. The Golden Eagle launches from its rock throne and inspects its kingdom from the skies. In the magical evening light, the grooves, scarring, and cracks come into sharper focus. It is a disintegrating mountain range under attack by erosion. Penetrating water dissolves the limestone, making it as brittle as ice. The Totusgebirge mountains will inevitably one day vanish. The nesting site is well protected, but treacherous thermals, downdrafts, and sudden gusts heavily influence the airspace. Landing near the well-hidden nest, the wall creeper cautiously climbs towards it. Approaching directly is a bad idea. Predators like the stone marten might be lurking nearby. The young are fed exclusively on insects, and both males and females share this task. Vegetation in the high mountains blossoms in May, and with it begins the insect season. By June, 
the young will have already hatched. Luck is required to observe the war creeper's aerobatics. As a tip, they like to nest in steep cliffs near streams, and these are abundant in the Kalkalpen. Kalk Alpen are weather traps, and low pressure weather systems invariably linger. As the moist air rises up the slopes, it cools, condensing into clouds, and it begins to rain. In effect, the mountains are contributing to their own demise by producing their enemy, water. Wind and weather further erode the Kalkalpen, forming true works of art, such as the Spitzmauer in the mountain range Totesgebirge. Ten thousand years ago, a layer of ice covered these mountains, exposing only the highest peaks. Today, the glaciers are gone, but unrelenting storms and bitter cold winters still persist. The ptarmigans, warmly insulated and with specialized feathers protecting their nostrils from wind, are among the guests that have remained since the Ice Age. Only two habitats exist for them in today's warm Europe, the Arctic regions and the high mountains. At the height of the winter, even specialized species have difficulty finding sufficient food. The deep snow makes it very challenging. The chamois scrape lichens and moss off the steep walls. Navigating the icy rock is now even riskier for these master climbers. For the golden eagle, that is good news. Carrion is sometimes their only source of food in the winter. Eagles can at the most only carry away a small chamois. So it awaits a fatal misstep. The bucks are usually solitary. Female chamois, however, stay with their young, often in large groups. If the weather becomes too extreme, the chamois descend to the forest, where they will eat buds, shoots, and even pine needles.
Wherever the eagle circles looking for food, an eerie silence follows. In midwinter, the rocky wilderness of the Kalkalpen freezes, transforming into an ice palace. The Halle Mauern mountain chain forms a prominent boundary between Upper Austria and Styria. Winter ends with a grand finale as the snow transforms into a raging downhill ocean. Everywhere, water seeps through the porous rock, passing through caverns and cave systems, and fills the network of rivers, waterfalls, and streams. The dippers along the rivers of the Hintergebirge mountain range herald the arrival of spring. Even before they can learn to fly, the chicks can swim and dive. As adults, they can dive up to one and a half meters and travel up to 20 meters. Quite an achievement for a small bird without webbed feet. Higher up the cliffs, young ravens wait for their breakfast. Even ravens follow the principles of survival. Search for food everywhere, but only live in the safety of the cliffs. For eagle chicks, a nest high up on the rock wall is its safe haven. Golden eagles, ravens, dippers, chamois, ptarmigan, and wall creepers. They have all made peak regions, rivers, ridges, and steep cliff walls their home. For them, the seemingly lifeless rocky region of the Kalkalpen National Park is their paradise.